welcome back to the my channel FFVMT. Our next topic is viscosity. Let's discuss about the viscosity. Viscosity. It is the property of a fluid by virtue of which it opposes the relative motion between the fluid layers. Viscous force. It is internal friction between the layers of a fluid. Coefficient of viscosity. It is the ratio of sharing stress to the sharing strain rate of flowing fluid. Consider a portion of the liquid having shape A, B, C, D at any instant. It is the fixed layer of liquid. The layer at a distance L from the fixed layer take the shape A, B, A, E, F, D after a short interval of time delta T. Let F be the shearing force on the top layer. Now, shearing stress equals to F by A. And rate of change of a strain equals to delta x by L divided by delta T equals to delta x by L into delta T. Hence, coefficient of viscosity equals to sharing a stress by rate of change of a strain. Or eta equals to F by A divided by V by L equals to F into L by A into V. The SI unit is the SI unit of eta is pi L E P L. Other unit Newton second per meter square or Pascal second. And dimensional formula is M L minus 1 T minus 1. Now, relative coefficient of viscosity. The ratio of coefficient of viscosity of any matter to the coefficient of viscosity of water is called relative coefficient of that matter. The relative viscosity, that is eta by eta water, of blood remains constant between 0 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius. The viscosity of liquid decreases with increase in time temperature while it uh, while it increases in the case of gases. Example: A metal block of area 0 0.10 meter square is connected to a 0 0.01 kg mass via a string that passes over an ideal pulley considered massless and frictionless as shown in the figure a liquid with a film thickness of 0.30 mm is placed between the block and the table when when released the block moves to the right with a constant speed of 0.85 meter per second. Find the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid. The situation is shown in the figure. And the free body diagram of block and the ball is shown. Now here shearing force is equal to from the free body diagram of block here shearing force is equal to the tension in the string which is equal to the weight of weight of the weight of the body equals to 0, 0 into 9.8 or equals to 9.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton and shear stress f by a equals to 9.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton by 0 0.1 0 meter square 98 to the power minus 2 newton per meter square 
and a strain rate V by L equals to 0 0.085 meter per second divided by 0 0.30 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter equals so eta a stress by a strain rate eta is given by that is coefficient of viscosity eta is given by a stress by a strain rate Putting the value of a stress and a strain rate 98 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton per meter square divided by 85 by 3 into 10 into 10 per second equals to 294 by 85 into 10 to the power minus 3 newton second per meter square 3.45 into 10 to the power minus 3 pascal second answer a stock's law when a body falls through a fluid it drags the layer of the fluid in contact with it a relative motion between the different layers of the fluid is set and as a result the body experiences a retarding force that is viscous force according to a stock if falling body is a spherical body, then the retarding viscous force on the body is directly proportional to the velocity of the body, viscosity of the fluid and radius A of the sphere that is F proportional to B, F proportional to A, F proportional to eta, where V is the velocity of the Falling body is the radius of the spherical body and eta is the coefficient coefficient of viscosity of the liquid. This implies F proportional to eta into A into B or F equals to 6 pi eta AB where 6 pi is equal to the proportionality constant. And its value is calculated from the experiment. Derivation. We can derive this relation with the help of dimensional analysis. We, we have f proportional let we let f proportional to a to the power a f proportional to the, the F proportional to the eta to the power a, f proportional to the eta to the power a to the power b, f proportional to the b to the power c. Then we have f proportional to the a, eta to the power a into a to the power b into b to the power c. This implies f equals to k into eta to the power a, a to the power b, b to the power c, taking dimens dimension of both sides. We have m into l into t to the power minus 2 equals to dimensional, dimension, dimensionally eta to the power a, dimensionally a to the power b, dimensionally b to the power c equals to m into l to the power minus 1, t to the power minus 1, a whole to the power a into l to the power b into l, l into t to the power minus 1 to the whole power c equals to m to the power a into l to the power minus a plus b plus c into t to the power minus a minus c equating dimension of mlt in both sides we get a equals to 1 equation 1 minus a plus b plus c equals to 1 equation 2 and minus a minus c equals to minus 2 Equation 3. From 3 and 2 we get C equals to 2 minus A equals to 2 minus 1 equals to 1. Using it in equation 2 minus A plus B plus C equals to 1. This implies B equals to 1 plus A minus C. 1 plus 1 minus 1 equals to 1. Thus, we have cap A equals to 1, B equals to 1, and C equals to 1. Hence, F equals to K into eta to the power 1, into A to the power 1, into B to the power 1, equals to K eta AB. 
फ्रॉम एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव के इक्वल्स टू सिक्स पाई सो एफ इक्वल्स टू सिक्स पाई एटा ए इंटू भी दर इज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ भिस्कस फोर्स ऑन ए बॉडी फॉलिंग इन द लिक्विड नाउ टर्मिनल वेलोसिटी कंसिडर ए स्फेरिकल बॉडी फॉलिंग थ्रो ए भिस्कस मीडियम इनिशियली इट एक्सेलरेट डी टू ग्रेविटी एज द वेलोसिटी इंक्रीजेस द रिटार्डिंग फोर्स दैट इज भिस्कस फोर्स ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस वेन भिस्कस फोर्स एंड बॉयट फोर्स एक्टिंग इन अप बार्ड डायरेक्शन बिकम्स इक्वल टू फोर्स ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी द नेट फोर्स बिकम्स जीरो एंड सो एट दिस टाइम एंड सो 